Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be using the XADC IP in Xilinx Vivado to measure the die temperature and we will be using the basis 3 FPGA board for this purpose. So you can use any FPGA board. I, I, am, I am using basis 3 FPGA board that is manufactured by Digilent. So basically XADC stands for Xilinx analog to digital converter IP and this is a very powerful feature in Xilinx FPGA devices that allows for monitoring and measurement of analog signals directly on the FPGA board. So as you can see first I went to a block design then I selected the XADC wizard block from the design. Now I am configuring this as a XADC wizard block. So as you can see we will be using a channel sequencer, the interfacing will be none, we will be measuring the temperature. So we will enable the VCC I and T. So click on OK. So as you can see our XADC wizard it is configured. Now we will validate the design and generate the layout but there is no layout so we will directly use the source to create a HDL wrapper means we will convert this block design into a VHDL code. So one of the key uses of this XADC IP is to measure the die temperature of the FPGA. This will help us to monitor the thermal performance of our FPGA board in real time. The IP can also be configured to generate alarms if the measured parameters exceed the user defined threshold. So as you can see now we will run the implementation of the design and we will implement this XADC on our basis 3 FPGA board. So just implement the design and then we will generate the bit stream. Finally we will use the bit stream to configure the basis 3 FPGA board. So as you can see now I will connect my basis 3 FPGA board. Go to this XADC system monitor. Create a new dashboard. So we can give any name to this dashboard. So as you can see this is the dashboard that has been created for measuring the die temperature of the basis 3 FPGA board. So as we can see we are getting a temperature of around 42 degrees Celsius and the room temperature was around 35 degrees Celsius. So this is the die temperature of FPGA board hence it is little bit higher. So in this way we can uh, configure other analog signals also using the same XADC IP. So this is a very very useful IP and we can change the uh, from the settings part we can change the frequency of update also. So we can update it every 5 second or every 10 second. So as you can see this is the scan rate, JTAG scan rate. So we can update it every 5 second, every 10 second, every 30 second, every 1 minute and so on. So please like and share the video and subscribe the channel for more such videos on Xilinx Vivado and Basis 3 FPGA board and on VLSI design. Thank you.